All right, Dr. J here again. Today we're talking about the cat blood vessels. Okay, before we even get to the cat though, let's talk about some of the differences between human and cat blood vessels. Obviously, this is a human anatomy and physiology class. However, cats are easier to get and the cat vasculature is very similar to humans, okay? Here are two differences though that I'd like you to know, all right? Even though they're almost the same, a couple differences. So, cats only have two branches coming off of their aortic arch. You may remember, humans have three arterial branches coming off the aortic arch. Brachiocephalic, left common carotid, and left subclavian. Cats only have two, brachiocephalic and left subclavian. Cats do have a left common carotid artery, it just doesn't come off of the aortic arch. The other difference is that a cat does not have a common iliac artery. Um, I underlined artery because they do have a common iliac vein, all right? My suggestion would be maybe on cat practical exam day, once you get your answer sheet, write these two things down on the side of the answer sheet. That way, as you're going through the cat questions, if you come up against something that you think might be different from the human, you can just refer to your own notes. All right, we've got a demo cat here. I am going to kind of hold it up to help show you the vessels. Let me get another pair of gloves, another glove, though. Okay. You'll see here on this cat that you'll see some of the strings. And that's just because sometimes we use this for a cat practical. So that in that way, there might be a number at the end. And you have to identify which one it's around. But putting the strings aside, let's talk about arteries. And let's first look at the heart. All right, coming off the heart, the cats have only two arterial branches. This is the brachiocephalic artery, and then on this side is the left subclavian. If we follow the left subclavian artery, it's named the same as the blood vessels in the human. Same vessel, it just changes names as it goes along. So we have left subclavian artery. It becomes the axillary artery in the armpit. And then it becomes the brachial artery in the arm. We don't worry about the ulnar and radial on the cats. If we were to follow the brachiocephalic artery on this side off the aortic arch, very quickly coming off the brachiocephalic artery are the right and left common carotid arteries. You can more easily tell that they're the common carotids because as I follow them up, they supply blood to the head. So we, we would have on this side the right common carotid artery and this side the left common carotid artery. All right? Let's go further down and talk about the gut. I'm actually going to switch cats, do a little switcheroo for the cat. This cat has a better gut. Hey, hi, hi everybody. Um, so if we look at the gut on the cat, remember in the previous video I talked about five arterial branches of the arteries coming off of the descending abdominal aorta. The highest arterial branch is the celiac trunk. Next one down is the superior mesenteric. Third one is the renal. Easy to tell because it's going to the kidneys. And then we have the inferior mesenteric artery. And then way down here, this teeny tiny one is the gonadal. Okay? Not only can you memorize the order, celiac trunk, superior mesenteric, renal, inferior mesenteric, gonadal. And by the way, sometimes the gonadal, inferior mesenteric are in reverse. But you can also double check yourself by seeing where those vessels go. So if we see the celiac trunk, it's the highest one. That's pretty easy. It does have some branches. So if I was going to ask you on a cat, you would easily you would need to be able to see where these go, right? The left gastric branch is going to go to the stomach, the splenic is going to go to the spleen, and the common hepatic is going to go to the liver. The superior mesenteric, we know that's next, and it's going to go to the small and large intestine. The renal is easy because it goes to the kidney. The inferior mesenteric, you're going to be able to identify the inferior mesenteric, the teeny tiny branch, but look where it's supplying. It's supplying the distal large intestine. The gonadal is also a tiny one, 
but the gonadal, here's the gonadal on this side, the gonadal isn't going to go to the large intestine. Inferior mesenteric goes to the end of the large intestine, gonadal doesn't. All right. For the veins for the gut, since we're here, the hepatic vein is going to be really hard to see. Probably not going to be able to see it that well. Hepatic portal vein, can't really see that well. But I can see the renal. Sometimes you can see the gonadal vein, but you would just need to know where it's going. So the gonads. All right, back to our first specimen. Let's do the lower body. Well, actually, before let's do the veins of the upper body, okay? In the veins of the upper body, we have the superior vena cava. And that's going to branch off into a right brachiocephalic vein and left brachiocephalic vein. Coming off of that will be the external jugular. Internal is hard to see, but we can definitely see the external jugular. After the external jugular branches off, it becomes subclavian. So superior vena cava, this will be left brachiocephalic. Then it will be left subclavian because the external jugular has branched off. When it gets into the arm, it's known as the axillary and then brachial. You don't need to know cephalic and basilic on the cats. Lower body. Let's get towards the lower body here. All right. Let's see if I can get this to you as best I can. If we follow, let's do arteries. If we follow the descending abdominal aorta, it is going to split. Don't worry about the, these are vessels that go to the tail. We're going to talk about this first split. Remember, cats do not have a common iliac artery. So that means that these first two branches are the external iliac artery. This will be right external iliac artery and left external iliac artery. If I ask you an artery in the thigh, it's got to be femoral artery. If I somehow get a good view of the artery behind the knee, I can kind of see the artery here. Remember, behind the knee would be popliteal. We're not going to worry about the anterior and posterior tibial. For the veins, the inferior vena cava comes down, and it's going to split. But this time, cats do have a common iliac artery, uh, vein. So this will be right common iliac vein, left common iliac vein. After we see the internal branch off, then it becomes external iliac vein. Then it becomes femoral vein. The one added vein is the great saphenous vein. Easy to see because it's very superficial. Whereas the femoral keeps going deep. All right, good luck everybody.